All right, guys, today we're going to learn something new. We're going to learn about tally marks. Now, as the week goes on, as time goes on, we're also going to make a tally chart, and we're going to use these tally marks for some other things. But for today, we're just going to learn about tally marks and what they look like, OK? So a tally mark is just a line. It really is just a line. This is a tally mark. That would be one tally mark, one tally mark. That's two tally marks. That's three, and that's four. Now it gets tricky. Tally marks come in sets of five, so we already know how to count by fives. So when we are counting sets of tally marks, we count by fives. One set of tally marks should be five. So if I have more than four things to show the fifth thing, I'm going to draw a diagonal line across these four, and I need to make sure it's across all four of those. And it's going to look like that. And that is my fifth tally mark. That is one set of tally marks. Okay. Now there's a way to do tally marks correctly, and there's an incorrect way to do tally marks. Notice they're not perfect, but they're all about the same height. They're not completely different sizes. We cannot be doing stuff like this. In fact, that's completely wrong because one, two, three, four, this one should be over top of this one. We need to be careful when we're making tally marks to make sure that we're being neat with them. Okay? So we're going to count some things using some tally marks. I'm going to count some things. I'm going to grab, okay, I'm going to grab some of these little guys. And I want you to tell me how many stuffed animals I have. I have this fella and I have this fella. One, two. With that, I'm going to show how many stuffed animals I have. One, two. That's the same as two. These two are the same. Two tally marks. I know it looks like 11 equals two, but those are tally marks. Two tally marks equals the number two. It's the same as the number two. Okay? Let's count some different stuffed animals. Let me grab a couple more here. Ha! Okay. I've got, let's count. Ready? One. Ah, two, three, four. Four tally marks. Are you ready? One, two, three, four. Notice the space between them is about the same, too. I don't have one big space, little space, little space. Okay? You need to keep the spaces. The height should be about the same, and the space in between should be about the same. Okay, so that time I had four stuffed animals. Let's count some more. Are you ready? I'm going to grab a whole bunch of these. Ah! Here we go. We're going to count some stuffed animals. Ready? One. Isn't he cute? Two. Three. Four. Ah! Where's his face? Five. Six. So I need six tally marks. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Do you remember what I have to do here? I have to cross over. That's my fifth one, and I had one more. I had six stuffed animals, so that's six tally marks. Five, six. A lot of kindergartners get confused. They make, they forget to cross it. They do one, whoops. They do things like one, two, three, four, five, and then cross it. That's not correct. That's a set of six tally marks. Tally marks don't come in sets of six. They come in sets of five. So you have to be careful, and you have to think about what you're doing. OK, let's do one more of this with all the stuffed animals that I have, and we'll count them all. Ah! OK. Ugh, ugh. They're all here in my hands. Here we go. Let's count them. One, two. Three, ah, four, five, six, seven. I borrowed this one from Miss Bree. So seven stuffed animals. Let's make seven tally marks. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Do you remember what I got to do? I need to cross. Five, six, seven. Now notice I left a little bit of space between my diagonal 
fifth tally mark and my next set of tally marks. Because if I put it here, it would look like part of the set. So I can't put it, too, whoops, I can't put it too close because it would look like part of the set. If I put it right here, it would look like part of the set. So I need to be careful. Spacing is very important and how neat I am is very important when I am making, what do we call these things? Tally marks, when you're making tally marks. So let me make some tally marks here and I want you to tell me how many you see. Do you know how many that is? One set of tally marks is the same as what? Five, that's right. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do another set. So when you're counting tally marks, how do you count? You count by fives. Five, ten tally marks. Do you know how many tally marks are there now? Five, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve tally marks right there. You, on your paper today, you've got some tally marks on the paper that you're going to be working on today. Your paper looks like this. This is your paper that you're going to be working on. There's a front. And all you have to do on this paper, it's super simple. All you got to do is write the number that tells how many tally marks there are. It's really easy. On the front and on the back. All you're going to do is write the number that tells how many tally marks there are in each space. That's not going to take you very long. But as an extra activity, what you can do is you can do kind of like what I just did. You can go through your house and you can count things and make tally marks. If you remember correctly, a week or two ago, I had you do an activity where you went through your house and you counted rooms or doors or chairs or stuffed animals. We did a counting activity. Do that again, except this time to write the number how, to tell how many, use tally marks instead of numbers. So it's kind of like what we did before. It's still counting, but instead of writing an actual number, you're going to use tally marks to represent how many stuffed animals you have or how many rooms you have in your house or how many chairs you have in your house. Use tally marks to represent those. Now, this later on this week, later on, we are going to use those tally marks to make something called a tally chart. Today, we're just working on the tally marks. So work on your sets of tally marks and make sure that you know how to make them. Okay? Everybody got that? Good luck.